So in this video, we are going to run a Sepolia L1 archive node. So the reason why you want to do this is because if you're running a Tycho L2 node, um, you're gonna need a Sepolia L1 node in order to sync that. And if you use an RPC provider like Alchemy or Infira, eventually you'll get rate limited. So for L2 node runners, most of you will be wanting to run a local Sepolia node. So the guide is here on Tycho XYZ and we're basically just gonna run through this. Um, first off, you need to make sure that you meet all of these prerequisites, mainly Docker being installed and running and you have Git and then you also have enough storage. It's gonna be a little bit over 200 gigabytes of storage to do a full archive node sync. So with that out of the way, let's just run through the steps here. The first one is we need to clone ETH Docker. So I have a Ubuntu server here that I'm working on and I will just run this command to clone ETH Docker. All right. And then next step, I'm copying over this default.n file into a private.n file that I can use to configure the node. And I will set the value of archive node to true. So you can just open this uh, file up in some text editor. You could use, uh, if you're on Windows, you can use Notepad. Um, um, if you're on Linux or Mac, you could use something like Nano. I'm just going to use Vim, um, which works as well. And yeah, we'll take this value of archive node and we'll just set this to true. And I'll save this file and that should be good. And then after that, we just need to finish this ETH Docker quick start. So there's really just three steps here. Install the prerequisites, run the configuration, and then start the node. I already have Docker installed, so I don't need to do that. So I'll just run this config command, which will make it easy to set up the Sepolia node. Um, so yeah, I'll do ethd config and it'll come up with some options. I want to set up a Sepolia testnet. It will be an Ethereum RPC node, consensus and execution client. For the consensus client, I will choose Lighthouse. For the execution client, I will choose Geth. And I will enable this rapid sync. Um, hit OK here. We don't need MevBoost. I will enable Grafana dashboards. And then I will add a fallback fee recipient address. And this will configure the node. So it'll pull down those Geth images, uh, Lighthouse images, and, and configure the node. Um, there's one other thing that's not in the guide, but by the time you watch this video, it probably will be, where you need to add uh, one more uh, YAML file to this to this compose file uh, key inside of the, the environment file. And that is uh, el-shared.yaml. Uh, and what that will do is it'll expose the uh, execution uh, client uh, RPC ports uh, so, so that your L2 node can use it. Um, so now everything's configured, everything's ready to go. So we'll just run that one command that uh, we saw here, ethd up, and we'll execute that. And this will bring up the images and start the, uh, the node. So yeah, the default port that Grafana is running on is port 3000. So you can go to the, um, this will be running on localhost for most people, or you can use the, uh, the the local IP address or the private IP address of your machine. I think, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm running a uh, something called Tailscale, so I'm just gonna um, use this instead, but you can use your IP address or localhost. Uh, the default password is admin, um, admin, admin. I'll just skip setting a password. And then you'll be able to see this geth dashboard here. You can also search for geth dashboard. And this will start updating as the um, as uh, the node starts syncing. So, you know, first it needs to do a, uh, a, a sync of the consensus client, which you can see here uh, in Lighthouse summary. Um, and and yeah, you can see the what's the current slot and, and everything like that. So this node is syncing now. And that's pretty much it. You'll see this chain head start to grow and you'll see this storage size start to grow as well to around like 200 gigabytes or so. But with this, uh, you should be able to uh, use this as the uh, L1 node RPC for your uh, Tyco L2 nodes. So yeah, that's pretty much it.
Thanks.